All right, here we are at the router table, and now we're going to set up our quarter inch rabbiting bit to a 3 8 inch depth of cut. So let's pull the router base and router out of the table. I'm going to loosen the base, remove the base from the router, and now I'm going to go ahead and install the router. And when you install the router bit, go ahead and put it all the way in there, but then extract it about an eighth of an inch. Whoops, that's a little too far. Extract it about an eighth of an inch so that it gets a nice tight grip when you're putting this router bit in. Tighten up the collet. Make sure you get this thing tight. It's very important that this router bit is locked into the router and is not going to come loose while you're using it. Okay. That's nice and tight. And now this is the part where I'm going to adjust the depth of cut. I'm going to put my table back on. And you can see that by turning the table, more or less of the bit is exposed. And what I want to do is I want to try to get this corner set three-eighths of an inch above the surface of the table. And there's a couple ways that I can do that. I can measure it by using some sort of a measuring tool. So I can put my measuring tool on here and I can turn this base until the router edge is at three-eighths of an inch and then lock that in place. So that's one method of measuring my depth of cut. Another method would be to take my top or bottom that already has a rabbit joint cut into it from the CNC router. I could set that up here and adjust the depth of cut of the router to the same depth of cut as the rabbit joint on the top and bottom. So that'd be another method that I could use. And one other one that's really handy is to take my board and simply put a center mark on my board. Now this is a three quarter inch wide board, so I'm just gonna roughly go centered on this board and draw a center line on there. And that's pretty close to three eighths of an inch. And I can put that board right up against the router bit and verify that the router bit is set for three eighths of an inch depth of cut. So once I've got my router bit depth of cut set, now I can go ahead and put that back into the table. So I'll drop the router down in here. And I'm gonna put my fence in place. 